guys, and welcome to Art with Miss Davis. Today, we are learning about tessellations. Can you say tessellations? Thank you. Girls and boys, tessellations are shapes like tiles that fit together. And what happens is you can rotate them, which means turn them, but all of the corners, which are called angles, all meet together and they fit together like a puzzle. So when you make your tessellation tile today that you will be using as a stencil, you will need to possibly rotate it to make it fit together like a puzzle. So let me show you how easy this can be. Um, and you need to be thinking about what your title would be. You could do it like some of the uh, fourth graders did. They did rounds. This was the name of this one. Um, we had another one named Snow. They just like thinking about snow while they're um, meditating on their artwork. Um, or it could be fiery, like this artist did. But notice how the pieces all fit together and they did their coloring this way. But one of the ways to be really successful, I think, with this is once you make your stencil or your pardillo, um, is to start at the bottom like Iris did and draw around it with marker first. If you have a marker, you can draw around it in pencil um, if you want to, uh, and then go over it with marker later if you want. And then just fit these pieces together and then color them in and they'll be beautiful. But you wanna make sure that you go ahead and cover your entire page or most of it because it looks so awesome when you're done. Now today, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, you are going to get a little piece of paper like this and um, you will just do a very, very simple design on the top or the bottom. You will need your scissors today and you will be cutting out a shape, okay? You wanna keep it simple. I don't know that I would necessarily even draw it because sometimes it's easier to cut shapes out that aren't drawn because you, I can get really detailed. I don't know about you, but I can, and sometimes more detailed than I can actually do with these scissors. Because girls and boys, this is actually a tool, and this is a tool, and your crayons are a tool. So the more practice that you have, the better you will get at it. Um, check it out. So after you get the bottom part like this, what you're going to do is put it on the top, and you'll line it up like this, and we'll put a little piece of tape on it. Okay, so you can turn it and you can draw around this multiple times to make it your stencil. If you would like, you can cut one more piece out of the top, but remember to keep your pieces because you will need these to glue back together again, all right, to make it all work. Now, will this tessellate? Yes, it will. Okay, guys, we're gonna put the tape down here and then we will draw around this multiple times to get a beautiful picture. So enjoy yourself, um, have some fun putting it together. You can use different colors in your patterns, uh, different shapes. What I've done to show you some easy things are, I did a wave here. This was super easy. A triangle is easy. Um, you can just, you don't even have to draw these. You can just use your scissors, but remember to keep that part. Okay, girls and boys, and enjoy yourself. Have fun because that's the secret to art. Okay. Thank you everybody for staying safe, staying focused, and uploading your work to the Google Classroom with your name and your title on it. Thank you. Even if it's snowy or snow, it's a title and it really helps the viewer. Thank you.